So today we have the new 992 Porsche Carrera S. Um, in case you didn't know, this is the brand new 911. Um, so look, there are loads of videos online talking about all the differences and what's new, um, but today we wanted to talk about the spec and the different options you can get, what's important, what's not. Um, so if you're specking up a brand new order today um, or looking in the market for a used one, hopefully this video is gonna help you. Okay, so one of the first things you're gonna to wanna to choose is the color for your car. Um, so there are four base colors, which are no cost option. You have black, white, racing yellow, and guards red. This is actually the black. Um, I think it looks super cool, super stealthy, um, and it's a no cost option. You can spend a bit more and get the jet black metallic option. Um, other metallic colors like GT Silver, and um, Agate Grey are also very good colours to go for. You can, they've also got a few new colours. Um, I think there's one called Gentian Blue, which is very nice. Avaturine Green looks very good. You also have Dolomite Silver. You can spend even more money, get one of the special colours like Crayon, which is very popular at the moment. Um, you also can get Lava Orange, Miami Blue. Um, but for me, I love this colour. It's, it's just flat black. It is one of the hardest colours to keep clean but it's definitely worth putting in that extra effort when your car can look like this. So after choosing your color, you're probably gonna to wanna to spec your wheels next. These are the standard Carrera S wheels, um, but these have been painted in satin black, which is a cost extra. Um, you can upgrade to the RS Spider wheels, which are about 1,600 pounds there, I think probably the very best option. Um, you can also get exclusive alloys or Carrera Classic alloys personally, I don't think those two options are the best, so I would stick with these um, painted in black, which obviously works very well on a black car, or go with the RS Spider wheels. Um, these also have these standard steel brakes. You can spec ceramic brakes at 6,000 pounds. This is just a Carrera S, this is not a GT car, so personally I would leave off the ceramics. Uh, so for the first time on a Carrera, you can actually get a carbon fiber roof, it's two and a half thousand pounds. Again, this is a Carrera S. This is one of the more sensible 911s. Um, so I would personally spec the exterior glass sunroof. Um, it does make the cabin feel a bit more airy, less claustrophobic. It tilts, it slides. It's a great option to have. And I know a lot of people that wouldn't buy one without it. So next up, we have something which I know for a lot of people is a must have. Um, it's the sports exhaust, 1800 pound option. Um, and not only does it make the car sound a lot louder and better, but it also changes the whole rear appearance of the car. Um, with the standard exhaust, you get dual twin pipes at either side. Um, but if you do spec the sports exhaust, you get a big fat oval exhaust, which I think look more aggressive. There will be some people who probably prefer the look of the standard exhaust, but I would highly recommend choosing a car with the sports exhaust. It makes it easier to sell and I think increases the desirability of the car. Okay, one of the smaller options I think you should tick is the privacy glass. 387 pounds, you get this completely blacked out side window and a blacked out rear window. I think especially for a black car, it sort of completes that stealthy blacked out look. Um, but even for a lighter colored car, it gives a nice contrast. So a nice, cheap, easy one to tick. So one of the new options you can get on the 992 are these, the, the LED matrix headlights. They're just over 2000 pounds. Not only do they look very sort of high tech and cool, um, but they're actually very, very clever as well. Um, so what it is, you basically have cameras in the headlights which detect any oncoming traffic, and then it intelligently dips certain LEDs so it doesn't dazzle anyone coming and still illuminates the whole road ahead. So look, if you're, if you're gonna drive regularly at night, very cool and clever option to have. If you're not gonna drive regularly at night, you could probably leave it out. Another small one, electric folding mirrors. It is a cost option, 240 pounds. Nothing more annoying than having your, your wing mirror knocked off while it's parked. So if you're gonna be driving in the city, driving in London, make sure you spec electric folding mirrors. Okay, so one of the more expensive options you can get is the sport design package. Now this is one of those options I'm sure was a difficult decision whether to go for it, whether or not. This car has it, and let me just show you what it's about. Um, so it actually changes the whole 
front look of the car. So it's a totally different front apron. Um, without it, you have a much more sort of gaping hole through there. It's much more plasticky as well. Um, so with the sport design package, you get more painted parts, you get more of an aggressive um, front spoiler lip, and I think it actually really improves the front of the car. Um, you also get bigger side skirts, which again is helping it make the car look a bit more aggressive. And then on the rear, there's another big change on the rear too. Um, so it actually changes where the rear number plate goes. Um, so without the sport design package, you actually get the number plate that goes down here, which actually makes this part, I think, feel a bit more sort of round and bloated. Um, so with the sport design package, you get the number plate that goes straight through it, which I think helps make it seem a bit more proportionate. Um, you also get this totally different design down here. Um, with these little parts here, it definitely makes it more aggressive. Um, and I think it improves overall the look of the car. Is it worth the £3,000? You'll have to make that call, but I think on a black car, it definitely makes it look a bit more badass. Okay, so moving on to the interior. So this being a Carrera S, you get full leather interior as standard. Um, this has obviously got black leather, which is, I think, the safest and probably the best option to go for. Um, you can get Bordeaux red leather, um, slate gray leather. They also do these things called the club leather packs, which are sort of funkier designs. Um, they're all, to be frank, quite an acquired taste. Um, so I think for resale, you should go with the black leather. I would spec the contrast crayon stitching. Um, it definitely just helps give the interior a bit of contrast, a bit of a lift. Um, the owner for this car originally spec'd a few Alcantara options as well. Um, so he spent about 1,500 pounds getting Alcantara steering wheel, Alcantara on the storage bin, also Alcantara roof lining. Again, expensive options, but nice to have. Definitely helps give the interior a slightly more luxurious and a richer feel. Um, one last thing is the matte interior pack. This is a new option on the 911. So matte carbon fiber, which you get on the center console. Also here on the dashboard and a little bit here on the trim. Um, it's about 12 or 1300 pounds. Quite expensive, but it is definitely an upgrade on what comes as standard, which is this sort of um, textured material. Um, but yeah, all in all, this is a pretty perfect spec interior. Okay, so there are a few different options when it comes to specking what seats you want on your 992. Um, so these are actually the standard four-way sports seats. For me, they feel perfectly comfortable. Um, they're heated as standard. I think they actually look really good too. Um, the main difference with these is you get the manual lever to move the seat backwards and forwards. Um, they actually move forwards and backwards much quicker than the electric. So if you do have kids getting in and out of the back, they're actually pretty useful. Um, if you want to spend a bit of money, you can get the 14-way fully electric sports seats, which also come with the memory function. Or if you want to go for the top whack, you get the adaptive 18-way sports seats. I think they're just over £2,000. I wouldn't argue against it, but personally, I think the sports seats are more than enough. Okay, when it comes to convenience and technology features, there are so many options you can tick. You can really get carried away and let the costs run away with you. Most of these features fall into the category of nice to have, probably not essential to have, although it is personal preference, of course. Um, but things like night vision, adaptive cruise control, lane change assist, lane keep assist, front axle lift, these things are probably not necessary. One thing I would choose though is an upgraded sound system. This is going to be used as a daily driver and a good sound system is definitely something most people will want. So for just over a thousand pounds you can get the Bose surround sound. You can spec a Burmester surround which is about three thousand pound, probably overkill, um, but the Bose sound system is definitely another option I would recommend. Um, so I wanted to talk to you about some of the more performance orientated options. Um, I think the number one must have is the Sport Chrono package. Um, so this is something that's been on 911s for donkey's years. Um, on the 992, it gives you the Sport Plus mode. And down here on the uh, steering wheel, you have a little mode selector um, where you can basically toggle between normal mode, sport mode, the new wet mode, you can get individual settings, and then you get the Sport Plus with the Sport Chrono, obviously giving a lot more driver involvement. Um, it's a 1600 pound option but I know a lot of customers will refuse to buy a car without it. So even if you stuck it just for resale, it's worth having, but it does give you more driver involvement. So that is an option I would tick. Um, an option that this car in particular has 
Um, if you're for real driving enthusiasts, I think it's a good one to have is the sports suspension um, for the PASM. It's only 665 pounds, just changes the, the setup of the car slightly. So you get firmer suspension, it lowers the ride height by 10 millimeters, um, which not only gives the car a sort of meaner stance, um, but it also makes the car the handling slightly better. Um, it also adjusts the aero on the rear spoiler and the front spoiler lip, so it gives you a little bit more downforce, a little bit more performance. Definitely one that the driving enthusiasts are going to appreciate. Okay, a couple of other options you might want to consider are the rear axle steering and the Porsche Dynamic chassis control. Um, these are nice options to have, don't get me wrong, um, but they are pretty expensive and I think for the Carrera S, maybe they're overkill. Um, you definitely don't want to run away with costs on the Carrera S model. Um, so these options, I think, are unnecessary and are better left to the GTS, the Turbo S, more driver-focused models. Okay, so hopefully that gives you a little bit of insight into the different options you can get on this car and how we would spec R992. Um, I'm sure there are differing opinions out there about what are the must-have options and how you would spec your 992 Carrera S. Um, we'd love to hear from you. Please do leave your comments below. Um, but thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.